In this video, we will be continuing with counting the climb uh, for the Rapid React game by Team 4817, and I was the counter for this part of the robot back then. Um, okay, so at this point, I mean, we have our client sketch. Uh, honestly, the next step I'm about to do, which is structuring the file, could have been done before the client sketch, or maybe. The, the order doesn't matter is the point. You could have either structured your file first or you could have done your planning sketch first. Okay. So uh, let's think through what we, you know, different parts of our robot, what we're going to have. We have this linear, we have this elevator section in the middle, right? And we have these towers on the outer section that are going to be supporting this elevator, right? Not part of this sketch, at least not right now will be some arms okay, that will be able to pivot and rotate. right? And there's going to be a gearbox here and a gearbox here. And so how do we want to structure the file? Well, so we have to think about what is going to be moving in a different kind of way from something else and also what just seems to be grouped uh, differently. right? So we're going to have you know, a structure component. Okay, we're also, and usually I call structure anything that's like, you know, considered not moving, relatively speaking, in this file. I mean, the whole robot moves, right? But that would be like the two towers, uh, the gearboxes, all of those pieces are not going to be moving, right? But we have on one, or we could call it a linear on, okay, that's going to be down in the center. And we're also going to have a rotating arm. Maybe I'll change the rotation. Uh, I mean, this also, another cool thing about components is, you know, you can just rename them later. But what matters is, you know, having components in all the diff right different places so that uh, you don't have to move around different files you import later, right? You want to be able to activate a component, import into it, and not have to move components around. Otherwise, that's going to um, increase the length of the timeline. Okay? When catting with these kinds of massive files, you really want to use the best catting practices so you make your timeline as short as possible. All right? Now, with this in mind, uh, within structure, well, we're going to have a few parts. There's namely tower. Right. There's also your box one and there's also your box two. Now perhaps uh, we will add on a few more components later down the line, but generally speaking, this is like the kind of idea we have at this point of how to divide up the file. And I mean, this will work pretty well. So yeah, 